guys, how are you today? Today I'm going to be doing the overrated and underrated makeup tag. This video is going to be in collaboration with Samantha March. I'm going to link all of her information down below if you're not already subscribed. She is amazing. She posts videos pretty much every single day, which I admire. <laughs> so if you like a lot of variety, I feel like you get that on her channel. A lot of variety still within the beauty realm. <laughs> and she's very nice, very sweet, very down to earth, and just all around, I think, an amazing YouTuber. But I also wanted to mention we got the idea for this tag from Georgia Harris and Biohazardous Beauty here on YouTube. So I'm actually going to have their information down below as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. Now. Let's get to it. Okay, so my editor is really weird. It only lets me upload videos that are 15 minutes long. So I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly. So the first thing that they had was makeup brand. Now, a makeup brand that I definitely think is overrated, and you guys don't kill me for this, but I think Tarte Cosmetics is pretty overrated. I just feel like the quality isn't quite there. I don't know. I feel like for the price that you're paying for their products, you can get better makeup. That's just that's just what I think. <laughs> so for me it boils down mostly to their powder products I don't think are the best quality. I feel like they're very rough to the touch. They're not so smooth and they don't blend as easily. And then of course the shade range in basically everything, eyeshadows, you know, foundation, all of that. They pretty much seem to think that there's about 20 shades of beige in this world and that's about it when it comes to color. <laughs> so I just, for that reason, find them to be a little bit overrated. Now the one that I think is underrated is the Balm Cosmetics. So theirs is kind of like the complete opposite. Their formula is so smooth and creamy and nice when it comes to like shadows, bronzers, blushes, highlighters. They're all amazing. Now the highlighters a lot of people do talk about but I think for sure the brand as a whole is a little bit underrated. I think that they have a lot of really great products that a lot of people just don't realize or don't talk about. Now let's talk about makeup brand collabs. So for this one I actually don't have an overrated one. Um, I don't buy a lot of collab makeup just because I don't typically go just for the name of a product but I do have one for underrated and that would have to be the elf and Christian Siriano. Um, collection that came out. They came out with a little bag and an eyeshadow palette and some lip products and I actually thought all of them were really nice. I have them all and I love them all and I think that as a whole it was just a little bit underrated. Now let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. The eyeshadow palette that I think is overrated and a lot of people are probably gonna hate me for this but the naked palettes in general I think are very overrated. It could be that I kind of hopped on board kind of late in the game with the naked palettes. I didn't buy them until there was already a lot of other neutral palettes on the market or similar palettes on the market. So to me, I was like, oh, this is no different than anything else I can already get on the market. So that could be why to me, they feel very overrated. I just feel like they're so basic. Okay, and then for underrated palettes, I would have to give it to the Pure Cosmetics palette. Now this is another one. It's just a brown palette, you guys. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay, so it's the Pure Sore Diaries. I don't know if I say that right, but it's also just a brown palette. But for some reason, I found this I find this a very versatile brown palette. I love, love, love the shimmers in here. I think the quality in this is fantastic. They're so smooth and buttery. And these shimmers, let me just show you some of these. They're just stunning. They're very, very metallic. I love that almost like liquid gold kind of feeling in a shadow. And I feel like I get these, or I get that with these shadows. So definitely, definitely give it to the Soiree Diaries. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it. Okay, now let's talk about eyeshadow formula. Another one that I think is overrated, I'm just gonna talk about Kylie Cosmetics when her palettes came out. So many people were like, oh my gosh, these shadows, they're amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I tried her palettes and I just didn't think the quality was there. I just think because of who she is, people just automatically were like, oh my gosh, it's great. But really the shadows are kind of rough to the touch. They don't blend very easily at all. And they can be a little bit patchy on the lid. They're not super super terrible but they're just not anything great either I don't think they're worth the money that she's charging for them you're just paying for the name I think with the shadows okay the one that I think is underrated is glam light cosmetics I've talked about them before I did a full review tutorial swatches of their masterpiece palette let me grab it real quick so I do have a full video on this palette so you guys can see it in action if you want to but these shadows are stunning. They're so smooth, buttery, silky, and extremely, extremely pigmented. Let me just swatch my favorite shades here. 
So these are my favorite shades right here. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? There's their shadows right there. They're just so good. And the reason that I think it's very underrated is that this is the company's very first eyeshadow palette. And the fact that they were able to create such an amazing formula on their first try with, you know, not having done shadows at all before is just amazing to me. And I actually heard that they're going to be coming out with another palette very soon. So I'm super excited to try that one too. But I'll go ahead and link that video up in the eye and then down below as well if you guys want to see kind of the full palette in action. Okay, now for eyeliner. I think an overrated eyeliner is the Stila... I don't even remember what it's called, but I'll put it up here on the screen. The Stila eyeliners. It's a great formula, but kind of difficult to use. And so for that reason, I just feel like it was a little bit overrated just because it was hard to get that perfect line with it like you could get with the Kat Von D that was kind of around at the same time. For underrated, I actually am loving this Pixi eyeliner. Let me grab it real quick. So I actually have a few shades in it, but it's the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. These are what they look like, but the one I want to talk about specifically is the shade matte mulberry it's a brown you guys normally i don't like a brown liner but i've been loving this just for like the waterline it's something a little bit different than just putting black on your waterline it's not as intense but still really really beautiful and it defines the eyes but the reason i love this so much is that the formula is really smooth and creamy so it doesn't tug at the eye or hurt when you're applying it and it lasts so well on the waterline. I have really watery eyes you guys, especially now during allergy season and I don't have an issue with this fading throughout the day. So for that reason, I feel like these are incredibly, incredibly underrated. They're so, so good. Mascara you guys, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I never could understand that one and I think the reason for me was because I would see other people using it and get this amazing effect on their lashes. Very, very full, very long. But then when I went to use it, it just looked a little bit too natural for me. So I didn't get the oomph that everyone else seemed to get with it. My lashes just looked a little bit too natural, too soft with that mascara. But one that I think is underrated is the CoverGirl Supersizer Fibers Mascara. I can get pretty close to a false lash look with that mascara, as close as I can get anyway with that mascara. Um, I usually don't like fiber mascaras, but something about that one just works. Okay, let's talk about foundation. So the foundation to me that was very overrated was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now that one for me was kind of like, everyone was raving about it at one time and they were talking about oh this foundation is so great for dry skin you'll get a glowy look with it it's gonna be fabulous it's gonna look great so i tried it and i expected to get a glowy look with it and i there was no glow to it at all on my skin no i have very 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 dry skin so it could be that just the dryness of my skin didn't quite work with it and my face actually looked a little bit cakey with that one so it wasn't so natural like I was expecting it to be you know born this way you're thinking it's gonna be very natural foundation it wasn't like that for underrated foundation I actually struggled with this one because um, I think all of my foundations are kind of adequately rated <laughs> the ones that I have so the one that I'm gonna talk about and I'm trying not to bring this up on my channel anymore you guys but apparently I can't help myself it's the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This is a fabulous foundation. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk about it, so I won't say much, but all I will say is if you have dry skin, this is fabulous. It's so glowy, and it just gives you a very natural, just barely kind of covered and evened out look. Love this. Primer, the Milk Blur Stick, you guys. From seeing other people's reviews and reading other people's reviews, I totally thought this was, that this, um, I almost said foundation primer was gonna completely blur my pores when I tried this primer it did absolutely nothing for my skin it looked like I didn't apply anything extra primer wise to my face so it was just an extra step that I was doing without getting any kind of result back <laughs> but for underrated primers I actually really love the L'Oreal magic perfecting base so this one is gonna be let me see if I can show you guys a little bit it's like a mousse formula very unique very interesting it's drugstore so it's very affordable but it's also the primer that covers my pores the best or fills in my pores the best so i've never tried a primer that does it all the way that makes me look completely flawless and poreless this primer is the closest thing i can get to that flawless look or to that poreless look face palettes you guys anastasia 
Hold on, let me grab it. Anastasia Cream Contour Palette. I think the whole cream contouring thing for me is just very overrated. I don't think it really gives you that much extra of an effect than you can get with like a powder contour. Maybe it does for some people, it did not for me. <laughs> and the creams, I don't even think are that soft in here. You almost have to add an oil to it to get it to be really creamy and blend nicely. So this one was a no-go for me. For an underrated palette, I'm definitely gonna give it to the Pixi and Dulce Candy palette. This has got to be my favorite face palette that I've ever tried. I have not heard anybody talking about this, but this is an absolutely stunning, stunning palette. So what you get here is a lot of shimmer shades. I think that's why I actually am surprised that I like this so much because you're just getting a bunch of highlighters here. You've got some shimmery blushes and bronzers there, but the way that this looks on your skin, oh, you guys, it's beautiful. The highlighters are super, super glowy and intense. The blushes leave a beautiful um, glowy sheen on your face. I just think this is the perfect summer palette and honestly, for me, year-round palette. You know, a lot of people don't want an all shimmer face palette. So I think for that reason, this one is very underrated because I didn't expect to like it as much as I do, but this is my favorite face palette of all time. Okay guys, let's talk about blush. Overrated blush, I'm definitely gonna give it to the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. So this is another one so many people seem to love, so many people talk about and everyone talks about how great they are, and so that's what I was expecting when I tried this. But I actually just find the formula to be a little bit uncomfortable to use. They're kind of rough to the touch, they're not super, super smooth. And so it's just kind of annoying. You have to like really dig your brush in there to get them to work really well. Now the pigmentation is really nice on these. This is the swatch there. It's beautiful to look at, but it's just not enjoyable to use. And so for that reason, I don't reach for them and I definitely think they're overrated. Now on the opposite end of that, I've got a cargo blush that I am absolutely obsessed with. And this one is very, very creamy and soft and it feels it just feels nice to use because of like the creaminess of it. I just kind of mixed it a little bit. They're almost the same color, but the cargo one is a little bit more pigmented. But just the fact that I never hear anybody talk about these and they're just so nice and creamy and soft and it was very unexpected for me. That's why I consider these to be pretty underrated. Okay, let's talk about highlighters. For me, the most overrated highlighters are definitely going to be the ColourPop highlighters. The glitter was way too chunky in those highlighters for them to be flattering on the face in my opinion. I know a lot of people like those. I just, I couldn't get on board with it. If they could do them with less glitter, I feel like they could, you could really get that like glossy glassy kind of highlighter look which is what I was expecting with them instead of the huge chunks of glitter so I think that's mainly why for underrated again I struggled with this one I think for me all of my highlighters are adequately rated I just buy the ones that everyone loves <laughs> and I love them too but I'll just go ahead and give it to my elf baked highlighters there's the swatch there they're just so glowy and nice they're so affordable and you're getting such a great product with it that I think more people should be talking about these. Overrated full of lipstick. I don't actually have one for this one. Hopefully you guys don't mind. But I actually was looking through my collection. I don't have a lot of bullet lipsticks. Most of my lipsticks are uh, lip glosses or liquid lips because that's basically what I use. But for underrated, I do actually have one and it's the Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks. But I think just Sephora brand in general gets kind of a bad rap. People just don't tend to like to purchase from them, but they have some really great products in there. And this I think is like a little hidden gem of the Sephora brand, only like $8 a piece. And again, they're so creamy, comfortable on the lips and the pigmentation is really, really nice as well. So I just think these are really incredibly underrated. Now for liquid lipstick, overrated, I'm definitely gonna have to say Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've never tried a drier formula in my life of liquid lipstick than the Anastasia ones. Everything else they do, I love. But for some reason, I cannot get on board with these liquid lipsticks. I just think they're so drying. And I think it might be because they came out with theirs years ago when it was kind of new to the market. And now so many companies just have really nice formulas out that I think that's why. For underrated, I'm going to give it to the uh, CoverGirl Melting Pout Mattes. This is one right here. I think this one is underrated probably just because it's a newer product. A lot of people haven't heard about it yet, but 
CoverGirl came out with an entire line of them and I think they're really, really nice. Definitely underrated. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to check out some of this video and of course, let me know down below your overrated and underrated makeup because I'd love to hear it. And I think that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.